Playing on the difficulty easier would make it easier to progress through the game. Would you like to set the difficulty to easy? This can be changed in the options of the game settings. No. Uh, do you want to enable vibration? Yes. By turning on the connect to the network, you'll be able to receive the following benefits. The ability to read rescue signals. Ability to send. Uh, do you want to turn on connect to PlayStation Network? Sure, why not? Save data for One Piece Power Warriors created on the same account was found. Do you wish to obtain bonuses from the previous data? Hell yeah! You've earned half a million berry! Plus the Power Warriors 2 gold coin. Good for me. Bandai Namco games. Also Bandai itself. We've also got Tecmo Koei games. Restricted. Also brought to you by Omega Force. Ah, a new loading screen. One Piece. Dream Story. Alright, fuck that. One Piece. Welcome to One Piece Pirate Warriors! We're starting this today, and it's about damn time if I say so myself. I was going... Oh hey, I've received a bonus of 100,000 berries a connection bonus. Good for me! You get weekly bonuses in this game. You can play as Ace now, you can play as Hancock now, you can play as Luffy from two years ago, you can play as Zoro, you can play as Nao, you can play as fucking everybody if you want to! Just keep pressing X until it goes away! God damn! Again, pre-order bonuses plus, like, costume DLCs has unlocked a bunch of characters for me right off the get-go. God damn it. Thank you. Oh, shit. I pressed X too many times and now we're starting the game. Alright, welcome to One Piece Fire Warriors 2. Here's the opening cutscene. Dream Story! We're gonna get into this. And I'm gonna talk about some stuff after this cutscene. Okay, so opening cutscene. 
What do we know? We know that it's two years later. But somehow they popped up on the knock-up stream and then they're back in Skypia, which is a place they skipped in One Piece Power Warriors 1. Why are they suddenly going back? Who cares? It's a dream story, alright? They can do whatever the fuck they want on a dream story because they don't have to be consistent. So, here we are on the Sky Islands! First prologue tutorial level is Skypia. Yeah! Let's get to it! Luffy! Back in action! But it's two years later, so he's actually got new moves, baby! You know it! You can also do all sorts of new crazy stuff. You know, I've got- I, I had to start another new save file. Just like last time, I started a new game save file. Because if I did- Oh, Axe is no longer a, um, gum gum action. It's just part of his combo. Kaboom, bitch! Yeah! Oh, this is amazing. This game trumps the first game in all aspects of gameplay, storytelling, character selection, maneuverability, controllability. Ah, it's amazing. I mean, I'm sure all of you were sick of me bitching about how sucky the first one was while playing it. Now it's time to see what I've been hyping up this entire time. This awesome fucking game right here. So, let's go meet up with the crew members. We got missions to do. We got places to go. We got things to kill. Ah, Skypia. Look at how magnificent this place is. Ah, hey, golden treasure chest containing stuff. Fuck you, I don't need tutorials. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so yeah, I gotta relearn how to do things. Ah. You can't team up with people in the field anymore. That's no longer an option. You pick a, you pick a partner at the beginning of like the coin selection shit, and then that's who you can summon. But only if you go into R1 mode, which uh, for Luffy is his Conqueror's bullshit hockey mode. Yeah! Red Hawk! Which is somehow translated to Fire Fist Pistol. Don't know why! I mean, it's perfectly in English that it's uh, Red Hawk. Alright. R2 no longer does gum gum actions and you can't really switch between them. It is just every character has R2 as like a special unique attack. And for Luffy, it's Jet Pistol. Yeah, you can charge it up and do three pistols. Haha, <laughs> uh, I can't do Tornado Foot anymore. I don't think I can do much of anything until I get some level ups. So let's get some level ups. Coins are back and better than ever because it's easier to get better coins. When you get two of the same coin, you don't keep the best one. You fuse the two together to make a big better coin. You motherfucker! <laughs> Charge up the combo! Damn it! Let's do this! Red Hawk! Yeah! Nami's being attacked! Wipe out the Sky Island Captain! That's our mission right now. We got everybody here. It's two years later, so everybody actually gets new moves! Yeah! Pirate Warriors 1 gave us like a costume for Luffy that was two years later, but it didn't change anything. This game has new character models that enable new moves. Yeah! So we're gonna get shit like, you know, regular as Gear 3rd without needing to shrink. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. You know it. Fuck you! Ha! Oh, don't, you know, let's do this uh, hockey shit. There we go. Uh oh. Looks like Annals blasting the thousand sunny going merry, whatever. Now, as I'm in, um. Uh, I guess I'm gonna call this like super mode because it's not it's not gear it's not hockey for everybody. But when you're in it, you know, Logia users have their Logia form. People who have Conqueror's hockey have that shit going for them. Or not necessarily Conqueror's hockey, but just hockey in general. Anyway, as you're in that mode, you build up a little green meter by killing things, and then that lets you switch to your partner character. Very um very straightforward, you know, at the beginning of a level you pick who your partner is, depending on who you have unlocked as a character, which by the way, can I just say that there are dozens of characters to pick from. I don't know the exact total, but there's at least like 40 fucking characters to pick from. Much bigger than like the 12 that you got in One Piece Power Warriors 1. You got fucking four times the characters! Alright? And they're all playable. They're not just like fucking DLC side-by characters that don't do anything. You can play as them! You can level them up and learn their special moves. Yeah! Ah, oh, man. 
But we'll get into that as soon as I beat this fucking tutorial level. Because there's a story to be told here. This game doesn't follow any kind of, like, canon story at all. It's a dream story. Which means they got free reign to do whatever the hell they want to with the series. They want fucking Luffy to suck Smoker's dick. And that's what's gonna happen. That's part of the story. Ah, yeah, I filled up my green meter by getting KOs. Now I can play as Nami. Do some crazy shit with her. It's not... In the first game, when you got to switch to another character, it was as long as they could do one combo. You got one combo with them. And, um... That was like it. In this game, you have like a meter. You got you could actually keep using them for as long as that meter shows up. And as you level up your skills, that meter can get longer, so you can control your secondary character for much longer. God damn it, fuck you, Sky Kylan Captain, whatever! Come boom! Ah! Fuck you! Yeah! Luffy ain't got time for your shit! Come on! Try to do some combos. Oh, shit, no combos going on there. <laughs> Damn it! Alright, so I can do axe. You probably look at this. See, it's, it's not even worth learning all of Luffy's skills because you don't have to play as Luffy through the main story at all. Every level you can play as someone different. At every level you unlock a new person to play as. So I don't even give a shit about Luffy's entire combo list. Urgh. Just get some KOs. Oh, I can't do jet stamp gatling or whatever. Damn it! Damn it! Triangle square! Keep doing square. Okay, I don't have any of my combos because I'm not leveled up. Uh, God, the music is just picking up so much. I love it. Alright, we gotta get to that green X. But I gotta get some kills. Yeah, 30 KOs from a single special attack. It's much easier to rack up KOs in this game because they're so plentiful. It's so many enemies to be thrown at you. There's new factions. We'll get into that later as well. Everything will become apparent when we get to the part of the game that is relevant to it. Hey, a special waffle chest. Because it's got the stupid little crown, whatever. It's probably called something else, but it's, it's a waffle chest for me. Because it's got a little waffle crown on it. If you, if you get... There are special conditions in every level, and if you complete those special conditions, you get special secret treasures. For this game, one of the secret treasures was just following the rules of the mission, you know? So it wasn't that hard to complete. There is another one I could do. I have to, like... I have to basically wait. I have to kill as many fucking of these guys as I possibly can. Getting a thousand KOs is usually one of the secret credentials that you need to meet. So I'm going to try to do that right now to get another secret coin. Because I have no coins! I restarted! I have no fucking save data from previous runs. I just have to, like, go with what I got, and what I got is nothing! Ugh. Man. 